The study was published in a prominent journal, and it involved the use of two methodologies that often draw interest and coverage from media organizations, while researchers meet that coverage with skepticism, neuroimaging and machine learning. That is to say, excitement about these two methodologies can often outshine any skepticism toward them in popular reporting. Another piece that researchers online, and neurocritic as well, are raising as a point of question is the machine learning component of the study. The researchers tried to teach their machine learning algorithm how to recognize suicidal thoughts through a procedure known as leave one out cross validation. They would run trials in which the algorithm would be fed data all of the participants except for one, that is the algorithm would be shown the participants fMRI data and told whether or not that participant had suicidal thoughts. Then, the algorithm would be fed the fMRI data from the person who was left out, but the algorithm would not be told whether that person had suicidal thoughts. The algorithm's ability to classify those left out individuals was the measure of its accuracy, that's where the 91% figure comes from. One neuroscientist who specializes in machine learning tweeted out an interesting parallel. Let's say a researcher shows a group of squeamish people a violent video and monitors their pulse. That researcher then trains a machine learning algorithm to classify squeamish people based of their pulse rate, does that make pulse rate a biological marker for squeamishness? Most popular, why is the West financing Palestinian terrorism? More from Newsweek.